Hello, I'm Roger Webb and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a 3D carving in this fully upgraded 3018 little CNC router. And I've used Cavco Maker to do the tool paths and actually put this uh, 3D model together. Now if you're interested, and I highly recommend uh, this program, uh, I'll pop up a discount code that you can use on any of the Cavco products. So I will tell you a little bit about this 3018 CNC router. Now if you're interested in CNC routers or CNC machines or lasers, um, I've done 16 videos on fully upgrading this. What you see me do with this little router, the standard machine won't do. Okay, so uh, don't think you're going to buy one directly off uh, you know, the internet or wherever and you're going to be able to do what I do because it's, it's just not going to happen. So, um, you know, I, I've, I bought this with the laser as well for um, about 250, $250 to $300, somewhere around that. And I've thrown in another $150 at it to make it work as it should. So uh, just bear that in mind and have a look at some of my other videos uh, on my channel regarding this. Okay, so we're going to jump straight in. And now this is a free program. This is Gerbil, which this operates with. Um, this really is just a program that administers the G code, which is the language that this understands. Um, and you know this is a basic program it works quite well there it is there it looks a little messy it's just a diagram <laughs> that sort of shows you uh, where uh, or what it's doing um, I'll make this full screen and you can zoom in and zoom out. You can just about make out the lady's head there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the, the little rotor with a sharp tool in to the center of the material where I want the job to start, uh, which is the origin of the piece of work, which is indicated there with that green dot. So it's going to work from the middle, okay, and work its way out. So this is the roughing cut. So we're going to move as or remove as much material as we can with a, quite a large tool for this little machine. So, so I'll just zoom into the centre of the material and uh, I'll I'll do a split screen, okay. So you'll notice here I have got this set at 500 millimeters per minute of travel. So we're going to move it now. So that's travelling at 500 millimetres a minute. Okay, I'm going to go oh, wrong way, this way, a little bit. I'm just going to take it down slightly so I can see, because I'm looking for the Bit of a distance here. Okay, all that way a little bit. Oh, wrong way. So we're going to call that a good there. I'm quite happy with that. So what you do is you come up here and so that's going to set the zero for the X and Y which is exactly what we want. 
and you'll see that this orange uh, marker now jumps to the new location and work coordinates up here has all gone to zero okay apart from the Z but I'm going to change the tool so that's what we're going to do next right so on this uh, little red spindle is the correct term um, it has a special little chuck now this is a collet chuck it's technically called an RE11 collet uh, and it will take up to about a 7mm, something like that. This is 6mm and this is a, a two flute end mill. So I'm going to pop him in there, like that. So just poke through. And then we can get him in there like this. Maybe up a little further, like that, and you hold the shaft with one little spanner, and then do it up, do the little collet nut or chuck up with the other. Okay. So now we're going to set the Z height, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So the simple way to find out whether this tool is or you want to get it as close as you can to the surface of the the material so we'll take it down very quietly but first i'm just going to alter the alter the the rate at which this moves now i'll put a split screen up again so i'm going to go down over to this bottom corner here that says feed and we're going to highlight that and we're going to take it to 100 so it's 100 millimeters per minute and we're going to bring the Z or the tool down to meet the material very quietly okay so then we can put a piece of paper underneath and just move the paper back and forth like this and so I'm trying to use the mouse of my wrong hand here and then just bring the tool down quietly bit too far a little bit tight so I'm going to slow the feed rate up even further a little bit too fast take it up a little bit more just so it releases it Okay. So that now we can pretty well say I can get the paper under there again. So that now is about a thousandth of an inch from the face of that material and we're going to call that good. So then what you do, you come here to the Z0 and watch the figure at the top there, 0. And we will now raise this figure up to about 100 and then raise the tool up off the material. And now we are set to machine this piece of work.
Okay, so that's the roughing cut completed. It looks a bit furry, but that's pretty normal. And if I take you back up to the program, you'll see that it took one hour and seven minutes, or seven and a half minutes, to complete. The predicted time was one hour and three minutes, so, you know, it's a pretty true prediction there. So now what I have to do is to change a tool, reset the uh, Z for the new tool, and I'll just show you the, the new tool now. Okay, so the tool we're going to put in is commonly known as a, a, a ball mill. Okay, if I can show you that. Very fine little tool. I can get it in focus there. I think that'll. I think that comes out okay. Very small tool, so it's got a rounded cutting nose then, and it's uh, two flutes, okay. And uh, this should take probably an hour to an hour and a quarter to machine this. It just goes back and forth in the Z and uh, progresses about uh, 0.1 I think it's 0.15 of a millimeter every time that it tracks across it progresses into the material so I'll just change this tool and redo the zero and uh, we'll do the finishing cut It's been fully upgraded and a perfect carving, 3D carving. So I hope you've liked the video today so please press like and subscribe and if you would like to support this channel you can support the channel on Patreon 
the address will be below the video and at the end of the video in the credits. So thank you for joining me and I hope you join me again for the next video. So it's bye for now.